the, there's an order of operations to radical candor. And this is true whether you're a peer, a boss, or an employee, or you can use this at home too. You want to make sure that you start by soliciting feedback. And so let's pause here. Like, because if you say, do you have any feedback for me? You're wasting your breath. I can already tell you the answer. Oh no, <laughs> everything's fine. Nobody, whether it's your boss or your employee or your peer, I mean, the only person in your life who wants to give you feedback is your teenage child. If you have one of those, <laughs> they want to give you feedback, but nobody else <laughs> genuinely is eager to give you feedback. And so how can you make it more likely that the person will actually say something? I think the first thing to do is to think very consciously about how you're going to ask. The question that I like to ask is, what could I do or stop doing that would make it easier to work with me? But do not write down that question, because if you sound like Kim Scott and not like yourself, the other person is not going to really believe you want the answer and you're not going to get anything. The important thing about your go-to question is that it sounds like you, that it is authentic. 